How we doing? Good. It's a better response than last time I did that. It's good. It's good. Just game week. I mean, uh, obviously, the that prep time kind of all leads up. Is how much fun is it to get in the game? Week? Oh, finally. I mean, I was. Uh, I know just for me personally, you know, it's been a long time, uh, about, you know, 21, 22 months, um, like I said, for me personally. But for, for, for the team, you know, we've been working hard uh, since January, you know, right after the bowl game. So, uh, you know, it's finally here, and, you know, everybody's excited and kind of jacked up and ready to go. So, With the extra week of preseason practice this year, does it seem like this has been a long for you to get ready. Yeah, no, I know with uh, especially like with the uh, with the rule change and everything, and where you can start earlier and all that. I guess I think that's the rule. Um, you know, it's, it has felt pretty long, but like I said, we're we're excited to finally be in game week. How different is it when you start to focus a playbook and, and kind of narrow things down as a quarterback heading into in the, in the game? Yeah, I mean it's uh it's a lot of fun because now you're actually. You know, looking at a defense, a specific defense, and um, you know you're not going against the same one every single day uh, for the last you know four, three or four weeks. Um, so it, so it's nice to you know you know start looking at uh, a, you know another team, uh, you know kind of breaking down what they do and um, you know trying trying to execute against it. So it's it's a lot of fun. I saw the chip and asked him how much he kind of. You know, goes back and forth with you. Mm -hmm. What's com what are you comfortable with? What do you like in this situation? I, I, as a quarterback, how important is that that a guy comes to you and says, "Hey, what do you like here?" You know, what, yeah, you Co here? Coach Lindsey, he's been he's been great about that. Um, you know, he's really open. You know, to my ideas. Um, you know, and that and that kind of thing. So we're able to kind of converse. You know, back and forth and uh, kind of you know pick each other, pick each other's brains a little bit. Um, so so it's good. You know, I, I like that about him and. You know, it's uh, it's something that, that I look forward to. You know, going into meetings every day. Jared, I know that I think you did it the same way with Kendall Riles, but having your offensive coordinator on the sideline, being able to look at him face to face and go over stuff—is there something to be said for that during the game and from a comfort standpoint? Yeah, no, I, I think it's uh, it's really valuable. Which obviously, like, I don't know anything other than that. Right. Um, so I don't, I don't know how the whole you know, go to the sideline, pick up the phone, talk to him, the booth. I don't really know how that works. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm excited that he's going to be on the sideline with us. Um, you know, I'll be able to actually, you know, talk to him face to face about, you know, what I'm seeing, what I'm doing, you know, and ask him questions, you know, right there so he can explain, you know, whatever, whatever it is to me. So, uh, you know, I think it's going to be great. How many family members you got traveling up here? Oh, I got a lot. Uh, too many to count, that's for sure. But I, I, got a, I got a few. Has it been a long wait for everybody? It's been a, yes, sir. It's been a uh, extremely long wait. You know, we're we're excited. You know, to finally be, uh, finally be here at Auburn, and you know, finally, like I said, finally get to this game week. What do you do the night before the game to kind of get your maybe your mind off of it? Because I know it, it's only human to be nervous, especially since it's your first game in two mm -hmm. years. What do you plan on doing to maybe just try to relax? Yeah, so I, I've kind of had this uh, ritual um, every uh, Friday night before a game. Uh, well, like I, I started this at Baylor, and I would ask the uh, I would ask the coaches um, for like a movie, for like movie suggestions. So I I watch a bunch of movies from like the 80s and 90s just to you know see what they would recommend. Um, but I actually have a uh, an entire list of movies of like 40 different movies that I'm gonna um, kind of pick and choose from uh, this year to watch. So I'll bring my Apple TV and set it up, and that's just kind of how I get a, you know a little bit you know peace of mind. Right before I go to sleep, uh, so that's that's kind of my thing. Are so. teammates allowed besides your roommate to come in, or, or you, you try to just be by yourself watching the movie? I mean, I, I always watched it uh, on my iPad uh, there at Baylor, so I mean, I'm definitely open to whoever you know wants to have a little movie night or whatever. But uh, <laughs> I mean, it's just something I like. I said that, that I do to kind of ease my mind before I go to bed. Well, what's 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 your favorite one that you watched so far that was an '80s movie? Oh man. Uh, I mean, Tommy Boy's a classic. Uh, Roadhouse. Yeah. Oh, Roadhouse. That was. A good, I'd never heard of it. You obey the three rules. It's three rules. Um, three rules. I've I've forgotten them. Okay. I'll be honest. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I said. It's been two years since I've watched watched all those. But yeah, uh, those are two of the two of the good you ones. You picked out Friday night yet? You know what you're watching this. Friday? Not not yet. I need I need to look at my list. Yeah. So clearly, it's a bit of a preference towards comedy or. Uh, kind of anything, really. Whatever's whatever's good. I kind of like to kind of 
I, I love I love movies, so I just watch whatever. Just talking about the offense in general, being out there with your teammates, you think you guys are ready to play a game, sick of practicing, or what's the mood? No, I, I think I think everybody's ready. You know, um, you know we've been going against each other. Uh, I mean, I mean even all the way back to spring ball. So we're we're excited to uh, get out there against another team and you know see what we can do. How much has this wide receiver group grown from the one that? you first hit the field with in, in spring? Yeah, no, they, they've grown up a bunch. Um, you know, chemistry-wise, obviously it's completely different, um, you know, with with the summer uh, or with spring ball and then the summer and then, you know, obviously fall camp. You know, chemistry has been a big, big deal to us. And so we've we've gotten that, um, you know, settled down and stuff. So, you know, I think I think they're ready to go. You know, they, they work extremely hard every single day. And, you know, they make, they make my job a lot, e- a lot easier. So I'm, I'm excited to throwing the ball. Speaking of those, what have you seen out Darius Slate and Ryan Davis in particular this this ball? Yeah, I mean, uh, they're uh, I mean they're they're playmakers. I mean we we have a ton of play ma- playmakers uh, on the offensive side of the ball, and you know they're two of them. And um, I mean, yeah, they like I said, they've been working extremely hard uh, every single day. Um, you know they they do what they're told, and they're uh, very coachable. Um, you know, great great teammates, uh, great dudes to hang out with. Um, so yeah, I mean they, they've been nothing but but positive this entire fall camp, and uh, you know that that goes not only for them but the entire you know receiving core. Yeah, good. Just what have you learned maybe about yourself just since you've been on campus that, that you think you've made you grow and it's a better person or is a better player? Yeah. Um, hmm. There's there's a few different things. You know, I, the saying kind of goes like. Uh, you don't really know what you have until you don't have it anymore, um, and that was kind of kind of my thing last fall. Um, and I, I don't think it was like I took football for granted or granted or anything like that. It's just whenever something so special to you is taken away for X amount of time, you know, it's just kind of a kind of an eye opener. Um, so yeah, I think I've come in with a, just with a just a good attitude towards the game of football and you know towards the game of life. Um, you know, being away from my family and stuff like that, uh, it's been a little bit, a little bit different. It was, you know, pretty hard at first because I'm a very, very uh, family-oriented uh, kind of person. So uh, that was just, that was kind of tough. But uh, yeah, I'd say those two are kind of the, kind of the main things. What have you seen from this Georgia Southern defense, particularly the secondary? Because I think that's kind of the strength of their team. <coughs> what they got coming back is the secondary. So what have you seen from these guys? Yeah, no, we, we you know, they're, uh, they, they, they have a really good defense. I mean, we. We respect the heck out of them. Uh, they've obviously had a lot of success um, in the past, so uh, you know we're we're excited to go against them. Like I said, our, our receiving core, uh, you know, they've been working really hard. Um, so I, you know, I think it'll be a good matchup, and you know, like I said, we're just ready to uh, ready to get out there and play.